Hi and welcome to Oxford County Living. I'm your host, Marco Matern. On Tuesday, students in the CHEF program, also known as Culinary Hospitality Enriches Futures program at College Avenue Secondary School, got a special treat from the Food Network's Anna Olson. Miss Olson hosts Bake with Anna Olson and was invited to the class by a student. Let's find out more about this program and its facilities at CAS and meet their special guest celebrity food expert. Cash Chef, uh, College of Secondary School Culinary and Hospitality and Riches Futures is a program that's been around for four years now. This is our fourth year. Uh, we train students for the hospitality industry. We also give them a good idea of what it's like to actually work in the workplace with real-time commitments, uh, real deadlines, and people that they're working for and with. Uh, they delegate to each other, and of course they end up serving uh, the public, customers, uh, um, you know, all around the community. Uh, right now we're working on our uh, Christmas turkey dinners. Uh, we'll be doing uh, an event for 100 people, another one that we're doing the Walmart uh, staff appreciation dinner for 150. So there's lots of opportunity for the students uh, to get involved in the community, learn about cooking, and learn what it's like to actually be in the workplace hands-on and prepare themselves for that eventual reality. We really want to set a workplace experience for the kids, so everything is pretty much, if they're out in the, in the workforce, this is, this is the type of thing they're going to do, so we want to make it as realistic as possible. So right now we're in the process of doing lots of Christmas baking, taking lots of Christmas orders, and uh, just making it as real as possible, teaching those work at work, work uh, place skills and employability skills. And how does this visit by Anna Olson work into that? Uh, actually, it just it ties in just so perfectly because she based her whole presentation on employability and working and working and trying different jobs and going through and finding your niche. So it just it just fit in perfectly. So. This must be exciting for the students, somebody that's recognizable from television and a food expert. Oh, definitely, yeah. This has been in the works for a little while. So, yeah, we were just so excited when she said yes and that she could come. So it's awesome. I'm, I was pretty excited too. So, yeah. How did it come about? Uh, we had a student who uh, just asked one day, she says, could we possibly get Ann Olson to come in? And I said, hey, we can ask. You send her an email and see what happens. And here she is. That's all it took was an email. Well, I've been watching your show for years on the Food Network, and like, I'm a really big fan. So my teacher and I decided to email her through the school with her email. And she decided that she would come and present to us. And this was about a year ago. So we just kept emailing and deciding a date and what she would do, and then it just came to happen. And tell me a little bit about the presentation that Anna put on today. Well, we went in our blue room at CAS, and she put on a slideshow about what, how she started baking and her decisions through life and how she came to be. And then we walked down to the kitchen, and we made butter tarts. We had stuff prepared for her, so then we could roll them out and put them in the pan and just she could do her thing so that's good. I'm here at College Avenue Secondary School speaking with the culinary students about the career path uh, to becoming a chef, what options are available, what not to get frustrated about, what to look for and how each of these students can independently plot and plan their own culinary career. While you were here, did you learn a little bit about the program that they're offering here at CAS, and, and what do you think of it? It's fantastic to be here and see the facilities, uh, which are based on a commercial kitchen. So what's great is these students are working with the real tools that if they go into the industry, whether starting as an after-school job or pursuing it professionally, they're going to have experience um, in the field and starting here at the high school level. Today I started things off with a slideshow presentation showing how uh, I didn't know I wanted to be a chef right out of school but how it laid itself out my career path, uh, some of the stepping stones but also obstacles that I came across on the way and then of course we wrap things up here in the kitchen with a little hands-on demo because it's always good to get some of those cooking and baking tips out there. So you think that this is a good career path for a lot of these kids here today? Well, the culinary profession is probably the second oldest profession out there. It's been around and it will never change. It's one of those economy proof um, professions that while the way people eat change uh, during economic shifts, everybody has to eat all the time and so it's an industry that will 
provide itself and it will always have needs and as tourism especially grows in Canada um, a big part of tour tourism is culinary tourism and people are going to come to Canada to experience our distinct cuisine.